Are you tired of spending hours in the kitchen juggling multiple pots and pans to create a delicious meal? Well, look no further. Today, I'm sharing a simple and satisfying one pan wonder that will not only impress your pickiest food critics, but also save you some precious time. Hi there, friends. Well, if you're new here, my name is Luann, and I'm so happy that you stopped by today. Well, prepping the ingredients is the first step that ensures everything is ready to go, making the cooking process a breeze. We'll start this out by wiping and slicing the mushrooms. Now move the mushrooms onto a tray or a plate and let's prep the ham. I'm using ham steak and if you're gluten intolerant, be sure to look for that gluten-free label. Just cut your ham into cubes and add them to the plate with your mushrooms. Now the final step in the prepping process is to wash and chop the kale. To make things even easier, I'll be using the bagged kale that has already been washed and chopped. Now grab your vegetables and let's head over to the stove. Heat a large skillet over medium heat and add a splash of olive oil, or in my case, I'm using bacon grease. Toss in the mushrooms and ham, letting them sizzle and release their savory aromas. Stir occasionally until the mushrooms are golden brown and the ham is heated through. Remember, go to heartfieldkitchen.com for this and other recipes. Now during this step, we're going to season with pepper, garlic, and smoked paprika. Regular paprika will work just fine if you don't have the smoked. Now give it all a stir and it's time to introduce the star of the show, the kale. Throw in the chopped kale and saute until it wilts and turns a bright green. This leafy green not only adds vibrant color, but also brings a nutritional punch to this dish. What other ingredients would you add to customize this one pan wonder? The beauty of this recipe lies in its versatility, so feel free to experiment with your favorite veggies, cheeses, or spices to make this recipe uniquely yours. If you're enjoying this recipe or maybe one of the others on this channel, Remember, the easiest way to show your support is to give this recipe a big thumbs up. I truly appreciate all of your support. Now it's time to make room for the eggs. To do this, create little wells in the kale mixture and crack the eggs into each one of them. Today I'm making five eggs, so I'll be making five wells. Now, once you have your eggs in the skillet, sprinkle each egg with a good dash of salt and pepper to taste. Cover the skillet with a lid and let the eggs poach to perfection. This usually takes about four to five minutes for a perfectly runny yolk. Now, I like my whites fully set and my yolks runny. How do you like your eggs? Runny yolk or fully cooked? Okay, now for the cheese. I'm using an Italian shredded blend, and then I'm going to top each egg with a sprinkle of feta cheese. Now you noticed in the picture my feta said Mediterranean. That was by accident. Luckily, I had some plain feta cheese on hand. Here's a heart-filled kitchen tip for you. If you feel like your eggs are not setting up the way that you like, feel free to add one to two tablespoons of water and place the lid back on. This will create more steam, allowing the eggs to cook faster. In just a few easy steps, you've created a wholesome and flavorful dish that's perfect for breakfast, brunch, or even a quick dinner. In case you missed it, here's my last recipe and another one that I think you'll enjoy. Thanks again, friend. I'll see you next time. Bye!